Hey love, I am back with a styling video. Um, I did this style in, uh, before for this client. She really liked it, um, so she wanted it again. So we're doing it again, but I changed it up just a little bit. And since you guys enjoyed the um, quick version of this that I showed on my shorts, so I decided to do a long form version for you guys so you guys can see the details um, and pretty much how I executed that style. So if you got plans coming up for the summer, you know, summertime, folks getting married, things popping off, people doing different things. So if you're looking for um, an updo that is a pretty much uh, versatile, uh, this could be it. So if you need something for a wedding, a nice function, you can definitely uh, do this updo. And it's so simple, guys. It's so simple. I know you guys say, girl, you always say simple, but it really is simple. And with this updo, you can do it so many different ways. So pretty much what I'm doing, I'm gathering the hair and then putting it on a ponytail using rubber bands and then styling it. You can twist it into the ponytail. You can braid it into the ponytail. You can do so many different things with it. Um, and even on the uh, loose hairs that's out, I um, twisted the um, ends. But instead of twisting, you can braid if you choose to. So you have lots of options of how you can play around with these uh, styles, right? So, so many options. But as always, when I tell y'all when y'all styling, please make sure you're mindful of tension. Do not do anything too tight. Be mindful of the tension because you do not want to have a headache. You do not want to put stress um, on your uh, hair follicles. And, you know, in the long run, you want to have some hair on your head. So make sure that you're not doing anything too tight, okay? All right, y'all. Well, just sit back and enjoy while I style my client. If you have any questions, just go ahead and put them in the comments. I will do my best to answer them as quickly as I can. Um, but this is pretty um, simple. Um, I hope it's slow enough for you guys to um, see and understand how I styled it. Oh, I do want to mention something about the hairpins. When you're using hairpins, okay, make sure that I, when I put hairpins in my client's hair, I make sure it's not even touching their um, scalp. It, I want it to hold the hair together, not necessarily, you know, putting pressure or poking or puncturing, puncturing the scalp. Because these hairpins can bruise you, you know what I mean? So you got to make sure that you're holding the hair together and it ain't got to be on the scalp for it to be held together. So when I put my hairpins in, I'm literally just putting it through the hair and I'm constantly checking with my clients. Do you feel the hairpin? Because if you can feel it, I need to adjust it. Um, so, cause you want to make sure you don't, um, feel the hairpin that it's not, um, you know, adding pressure to your scalp and causing any soreness by the time you take it down. Okay. So be sure to, um, be mindful of how you put those hairpins in. But other than that, sit back, enjoy. Again, if you have any questions, put them in the comment. Um, and, and I'll, I'll try my best to answer them for you. So y'all can see where I switched it up here. I did a braid instead of just putting it together. So, yes, you can do, you can just be as creative as you want to be, okay? Um, you could have twisted it if you wanted to. You could have done barrel um, twist if you wanted to. There's so much you can do. So, um, happy styling. Have fun. Um, if you guys want to see more styles, just let me know. Of course, I do styles as, you know, clients request them. So, um, I will um, post as much as I can and go from there. All right, guys, um, enjoy the video. Please watch to the end and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you.
Thank you.